Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are exploring the third learning path, visualize and analyze the data. In this video, we will continue to explore the topic format and configure visualizations. So we will continue our discussion on the maps from the last part of the video where we had a look at the point map and then we had a look at the Azure map. So now we are going to focus on the other three types and let's see what these are, what capabilities do these maps offer. So I have pulled in the other map visual. The, the, this map visual is called as the field map, but it is in fact uh, also an area map. And the fields that you actually see here are very much similar to the fields that we saw for the, for the standard map. And that these include the location, the latitude, longitude, and the legend. So we, we, we know that uh, either we can use the location or we can use latitude and longitude. So I am just going to do the same thing that I did earlier that I am going to bring in the fields from my customer table. So first I'm going to bring in my customer country and let's see what do we see here. So I have pulled in my customer country and now you can see that the visualization is very different from the one that we drew earlier. So here now the color, the blue color here is actually covering the three countries. The three countries that we know are in the data set, which are Mexico, Canada and USA. So it is the entire North American continent. So now you can see that the only information that we have on the map is in the form of an area. So now let me just go and bring in the customer city and I'm going to do it in, in exactly the same way that I'm going to bring in uh, bring it below my customer country then I'm going to just turn this thing on and then I'm I will try and go and look at what is the next level so here if you can go and have a look at this that this is the the data which is available at the city level so I will probably need to go and dig into this map or zoom into this map. So now you can see that based on the, the, the cities which are there in my map, it is actually highlighting the areas of the city. So it is highlighting the city boundaries for, for this particular area. So again, if you go and look and zoom into another area, so this is the area which represents San Diego. So here you are seeing that the information is not in the form of a point but it is in the form of an area and that area is filled so that is why this area this map is called as a filled map so but the this this actually means is that this color this color is the only thing that can be used to actually represent some value or some measure and in fact if you come here in this area you will not find any field that actually tells you about what is the what what kind of a measure that you want to put here so in order to do that we will have to go into the formatting area and see what can be done so if you come to the formatting area you are going to find a area which says fill colors and if i click on this fill colors i am going to get the same thing that we saw for the conditional formatting so once we understand conditional formatting then this a part would also become clear but just remember that this is the only area where we can actually bring in some kind of a value or some kind of a measure and though and that can only be shown on the map through the colors so this is the standard um, field map visual that we have in power bi the rest of the things are are quite similar so again you can have a different kind of a map setting a different kind of a map style so i'm not going to actually jump there what i am right now going to do is that i am going to show you the other two visuals which are there so one of this is the arc gis map and the other one is a shape map so here i have pulled in my shape map visual and you can see that the options here are a little bit different than the options that we saw for the area map so now just uh, let let me go and bring in my customer country and put it in the location here and you are going to be surprised that it is not the thing that you had in mind and because this is just a map of the us but we know that we all we have three uh, countries inside our 
our map data so why just the us map why not the map of canada or the map of mexico the answer to this is that for the shape map it is the responsibility of the user to actually bring in the map data it's uh, also along with the data which is available in the data set so if you come here and click on the map settings then here you see that the map type that has been selected is a USA state map so it is expecting only the data of the USA states inside the data set so you have certain options here so there are certain options which are built into this kind of a visual and you can see that there are certain options like Australia states France regions and other another um, areas which are which are available inside the map area but then you can you also have the option to bring in your custom map so make sure that if you are using this shape map you bring in the map uh, into the into the power bi environment in order to show the fields which are there in your data so this or uh, this has limited capabilities and it is not the map which is like a area map but once you have this kind of a custom map that you now then it offers a lot of flexibility so just keep this thing in mind that if you have certain uh, points in your data which which are not available in any of these then it is your responsibility to bring in a custom map and this custom map has to be a topo json format has to be in the topo json format uh, and, and and if you have that topo json map then you can just bring that map into this particular area the last map visual which has which is available inside the native visuals of power bi is the arc gis map for power bi and this is the interface of that map so here you can see that this map is actually linked to the arcgis.com website so it means that all the mapping information is being pulled from the arcgis website and here you need to have a arcgis web account or you have you need to have an arcgis enterprise account but you also see here that there are certain options which uh, we haven't seen in some of the earlier uh, earlier maps and it has it offers a lot more flexibility but a lot of that flexibility is actually related to the arcgis mapping capability so we are not going to explore that i'm just going to give you a, an overview and i can just uh, bring in my map the customer country column here so you can only put one field here so if i have the customer country information so the the beauty of this map is that it automatically recognizes that this information is representing a country so it draws a field map so you can see that this map is kind of similar to the field map that we saw earlier so if i just remove this and now bring in my customer city then you will see that this map has a capability that the others map do not have and now you can see that the information is in the in the form of bubbles or points so we have the capability of a bubble map as well as a area map inside this particular map which is which which capability is not available in some of the other maps that we have seen so uh, i'm not going to go into the arc gis map capability but you just just need to know or remember that you need to have in order to explore the full capabilities of this map you need to have an account on the arc gis website and you can go and uh, actually create that and then there is there are a few free tokens which are available and then you can use those free tokens to actually uh, do do a few things so these were all the map visuals which are available so you do not need to actually remember each and every option just need to remember that the basic two types of maps are are there and then remember that what are the basic capabilities that each of those maps actually offer but for your own learning just go and play around with these options and you are going to to find a lot of interesting things inside these map visuals so that's all for this video and i'll catch up with you in the next one